Welcome back to more Pokemon Diamond, everybody. It's the last time we made it here to Stark Mountain. What? He wiped you? Okay. But yeah, so we didn't actually go too far. But now... Oh, look at that. Boss battle time. Yeah, right. It's actually not a boss battle. But instead... It is a teammate. So Buck is in fact the fifth and final teammate of the game. You have Cheryl. You have... What's her name? Mi Mira? You have, um... Oh my god. Oh, Riley, that's right. And then you have Marley. And then finally, Buck. That is right. Okay, so one thing, uh, you cannot rock climb. You can't use your bike. You cannot surf. You cannot rock climb. You can't do shit, basically, when you have a partner with you, you know? Um... Let's see here. I'm gonna put Torterra in the front. Because, I mean, you're one level away, you know, from the level up, so I want to put you at 79, and then use Dora Candy. Also, as you already know, a cool thing about being in these multi-battles with partners is that they do fully heal you. I mean, they're actually called the Stat Trainers. People call them the Stat Trainers, you know? Six... You have six Pokemon? Oh, shit. Okay. Tyrog, the Drio. I think what I'll end up doing is, um... I'm gonna use Rock Slide. Yeah, so I can safely use Earthquake because Claydol has Levitate. You know, just saying. But I'm trying to kill a Dodrio. I don't know if I will, though. Probably not, because it's reduced to 75% power. Oh, no, I did. I did. Okay. Tyrog, on the other hand, there's no way. Because it's a fighting type. Oh my god, actually I was barely. Oh my freaking, what the... Okay, you're dead now. Oh, that was nice. That was nice right there. 1,033. Fero. And there's a Breloom. Okay. So now's a pretty good time to actually switch Pokemon. Why? Because with this shared experience, if I look at this... Yep, you're only 3 or 4 away, so I'm going to switch back to Nemo now. Hopefully a Clay Dog can Psychic the Breloom, and there should be a kill. Maybe. Assurance, ooh, that's a Dark-type move, that'll do double damage. Actually, wait, it might not be... No, I don't know. Because Claydol's not offensive-oriented that much, but he did get him. He did. Nice. Good job, Claydol. Yeah, because uh, one thing I haven't mentioned about these, I, I guess you can call them stat trainers, is that every single one of these trainers has a different focus on a stat. For example, Cheryl has a Chansey. She focuses on HP. Mira has a Kadabra. That's a focus on special attack. Um, and then... I'm just gonna... Go ahead and do that. Yeah, and then, uh, Riley has Lucario, which focuses on attack. And then there's... Marley. She has Arcanine, which focuses on speed. Basically, it's the strongest stat of that Pokemon. And then, um, there's... Or not, oh, actually, not the strongest stat, but more so what they are oriented in terms of using. And then finally, Buck. And Buck, as you already know... Defense and special defense, because Claydol has really good defense and special defense. It's a pretty good tank. Offensive-wise, it's not too good, but it's like a pretty good tank, you know? There's Reflect, and there's one Pokemon left, and that's a Honchkrow. You now, this battle is so long, people. It is taking forever. Okay, go ahead and Dragon Pulse to Honchkrow. Yeah, so I guess by this point I should probably, like, wear Candy Torterra up a little more, right? I'm guessing? I mean, technically I don't have to anymore, because here's the thing. I don't think I'm gonna be using Torterra anymore. I mean, unless I miss some battles, some of these double battles without Buck, you know? Something like that. Also, can I Strength? Okay, I can at least use Strength when I have a partner. That's good to know, right? Okay, so let's see. This takes me... Oh, shoot. 
as I was saying, this takes me back to the beginning, okay? Hmm. Here's another battle, and this one leads to an item. Wait, did I even switch to Alga? Oh my freaking god. I don't remember. Did I do it? F4. Satu and Baltoy, that was the first evolution of a Claydol. And I have... Oh my god, I did not switch. You know what? God damn it. What a waste. Why didn't I do that? That's a big waste of a turn. So Claydol's moves, I mean... One of them is Psychic, then Reflect, then Light Screen, and I forgot the last one. Cosmic Power, oh shoot. Okay, time to go into the Dragon Pulse on Satu. That's a guaranteed kill. Yeah, now Ominous Wind. Isn't Ominous Wind a ghost type move? I forgot if it is. But it's one of those moves like Ancient Power. Oh, that's the last one, Ancient Power. It's one of those moves like Ancient Power and Silver Wind that has a chance to buff up all your stats by a, you know, by one stage. Miss Magius, okay. Yeah, so uh, they're using Pokemon that are pretty good against my uh, Clay Doll here. It's a Ghost type. And then the other guy just used Ominous Wind, you know. There's a Psychic, and that is resisted by Beltoy, of course, oh my god. Power Trick. Ooh. There's Beltoy down, and now there's one Pokemon left, of course. So I guess I'll just get some of this experience. And it's a Grumpy. Okay. Grumpig is another Pokemon that is uh, pretty much oriented towards defense. So it is pretty tanky, but uh, you know, because I'm 21 levels over you with 150 base special attack, it's still never a problem killing you in one shot. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do. Yes, the very first thing I will do. Is switch right now. <laughs> Before I forget, you know? Okay, let's run all the way over here. This contains an Iron Ball, which I believe I already got one in um, Iron Island, I think. But there's a second one. Also, Bug Run's so funny. Oh my god. Alright, so let's... Ooh, Random Zinc. I just examined that rock and I had one. Cool. So, oh god, let's see. Anything over here? That just leads back to... I haven't done this battle. Okay. So many freaking battles, man. So many. Yeah, no, I mean, this room is honestly pretty confusing. Stark Mountain is pretty damn large, and as you can see, it's good in heights, too. Like, it's, it has some big heights. Luckily, they only have three Pokemon. This battle won't take too long. Aerodactyl and Kangaskhan, both Gen 1 Pokemon. Okay. So I guess I'll focus on Aerodactyl first with a Flash Cannon. Even though I have the feeling that you're going to Ancient Power, and you would have Ancient Power the Aerodactyl. Crunch! Ooh, at least it's not stabbed. That won't do as much damage. Oh, you use Reflect. Interesting, okay. Okay, so this Dragon Pulse is pretty much a guaranteed kill as well. And who is your last one? Because I really don't know. 
another 2100 experience. Psychic, no target. Ursarine, okay. I also feel that I'm pretty close to a level up again, because I have killed plenty of these Pokemon that each give me like 2000 experience each, you know? Have useful items? What? You're you're a normal trainer. You don't use normal items. What the heck? Okay, so let's see. I came from. Wait, I, I fought. What? Okay, let me break this thing. Because I honestly don't know what the hell I'm doing. This place is so goddamn huge that I'm so confused as to what to be doing. Okay, is there anything over here? There is actually. There's an item. Which I will take, have to revive. So I can push that. I can then come this way and I believe grab an item. Yep. Okay, nothing there. That is a calcium. Um, can't do anything there. Obviously, there's two rock climb sections, so that's a dead end for now. Which means the only way I can go to be this way and then up this way, like this. That's a rock climb. I've already done all this exploring right here. Um, what's up here? Nothing. And then over here, there's also nothing. Interesting, okay. Alrighty. Oh shoot, they're actually going to block me from going over to the left, and I believe there's an item over there hidden in those boulders or rocks. Oh, damn it. Dragon Tamer and Veteran. Hey, look, for once, a Dragon Tamer actually has a Dragon Pokemon. That's funny. Okay, so I'm gonna go after the Loudred. Just saying. Because, I mean, I feel like Vagon has weaker defenses, you know, it's the first evolution, so... I mean, if you Psychic to Vagon, you should be able to kill Vagon in two Psychics, I'm guessing. Still no 80, though. Hmm. I thought for a fact it would be at 80. Dragon Claw! That is not super effective, it's like the only dragon type Pokemon ever to not be weak against dragon. Okay, Dragon Bulls this Dawn Fan now. Will I be at 80? No? Oh my god! I mean, okay. Oh, you actually got him in one try. Oh, jeez. That is awesome. And that puts me at 80. Of course, the Bagon with less experience gets me at 80, right? Okay, sends out Tauros. And let's see who else. Shellgon. I mean, neither is a Pokemon that Claydock can one-shot, so... It doesn't really matter what I do here. Yeah, but um, as far as how many battles are actually in here, how many double battles? Let's see, this is battle number four, I think. I want to guess that there's like seven. Maybe. Maybe so, you know? There's a crunch, but who cares? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure. And also, I can, of course, explore more and more once uh, Bug leaves my party. Once he leaves, I get access to being able to use Rock Climb, which is real nice, of course. Okay, so that's done. As you can see, there are items over there, but I cannot access them yet. 
What's over here? Nothing. He has an item that's a max revive. Sweet. I just need to find the exit. So it's not this way, but instead it's the other side. You gotta go back down like this. And then... Oh shit. Okay, that's done there. Um... Did I already fight these? No, I have not. Okay. I wasn't sure. So this right here looks like it's battle number five, and like I was saying, there might be seven battles. I know for a fact there's one more on the left. Maybe two. Maybe three, actually. I don't know. Yeah, five Pokemon. Okay. Loudred and Dunsparce. So I'm gonna go after Loudred because Dunsparce is a really shitty Pokemon, so I'm pretty sure you can one-shot it. Play it all. You know, just saying. Alright, let's see what happens here. Please just Psychic. Like, there's no need to use Reflect on Light Screen. I mean, we're good. We are in a great position, man. Uh, let's see, let's see. That's not what you should have done. Oh, wait, what the hell? Psychic would have done a little over 60, 90 stabbed, 135. It would have done a little over twice as much as that. That would have barely gotten it to half HP. What the heck? Okay, whatever. Let's do a Dragon Pulse. So there's a Rompardos down. That'll give me some nice experience as well. 2430. Now it uses Reflect. Okay. Wait, what? Oh shoot. That move is crazy. Wait, what the hell happened? Oh, okay, that's what happened. I wasn't even looking at my damn status elements. Okay, please kill this guy. Please just kill it. It's using Endeavor, and that's doing a lot of damage to Nemo. Because Nemo has a lot more HP. Okay, now you're dead. Good. Stupid sleep. Next up is Marowak. Pretty much one of my favorite Pokemon ever. I mean, out of the like, to me, Marowak with the damn thick club is so goddamn good. But it's just that in competitive battling, knockoff is just really common, you know? And that's, yeah. Not good. Because if it loses to Thick Love, it's pretty much useless. Scyther. Okay. Scyther's a really good Pokemon. I mean, here's the thing about Scyther. You can give it Eviolite, because it's not fully evolved. Yet, it by itself actually has some stats that are better than Scizor, such as higher speed, and I believe... It's one of their stats that's also higher. But I forgot. But I mean, it's good, you know? It's a good Pokemon. Okay, there's that. Um, let's see. Nothing over there. So here's the other battle I was talking about. But, like I said, I don't know if there's more. There there's probably more, honestly. There is more. I just hope you don't have too many. Too many Pokemon. I'm just trying to, like, speed this up, you know, as much as I can. And you have four? Yeah, that's not too bad. Five or six is, like, more on the more side, you know? Vibrava and Machamp. Okay, so... The thing is, if you Psychic Machamp, I don't think it'll be able to kill it. I mean... I'm just gonna do this. I'm pretty sure you won't kill Machamp in one Psychic, because there's just no way. Because Machamp's stats are just too high, you know? Just too high. Oh, you use Reflect anyway. Okay, whatever. Oof. Damn. That would have done some pretty crazy damage to Dialga. I'm just saying. Wait, how did you miss? 
You don't have no guard. This Machamp does not have no guard. What the heck? Why would you not give Machamp no guard? That is like the best possible ability ever you can have, man. You know one other thing I didn't even mention about no guard? Aside from no guard being so cheap and it can never miss, like your attacks, it can also bypass protect. Like basically like the lower accuracy the move has, the higher the chance it can bypass uh, protect, which is like very strange honestly. And when I say protect, I also I'm also implying um, detect, you know, and other similar moves like it. Yeah, because it's like a move like Dyna uh, yeah, dynamic punch. Dynamic punch has 50 accuracy, which means that there's a 50% chance that it can bypass protect. Cross chop has 80 accuracy, which means that there's a 20% chance that it can bypass protect. Is that how it works? I think it's like. The chance that it can miss, it can now hit, protect, or something like that. So you would have killed my champ in two shots, dude, if you actually psychic before. But you didn't. It's like you did not. Okay, there's my champ down. Awesome. So, time to just keep exploring, you know? Time to just basically keep exploring. What's on this side? Shit, okay. I need his under Master Pal. Let's do it. There we go. That's a dead hand on both sides, okay. I will go to the left. I shall go to the left. To the left, to the left. Okay, I need to shut the hell up. What is down here? Ooh. Wait, anything over there, by the way? Nope. Okay, just push this strength boulder right here. All the way through, I don't know where this is taking me. Wait. Oh crap. Shit. Um, let me go back. Because I feel like I missed something. Wait, no I didn't. No I didn't! Dude! What is wrong with me, man? So I actually made it to the end. Okay. Let's go ahead and proceed. Oh. You got it, huh? <laughs> that was wicked. Okay, well yeah, there, there we go, yeah. That's that. No items here. So you may be thinking, what the hell was the point of all this? Well, don't worry. Do not worry. There shall be something here soon. But first, I must explore more. Okay, so let's see. Buck is not with us anymore, which actually makes us being able to like speed up, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do as much as I can. Uh, let's see here. So, I'm gonna explore the right side first. First things first, I shall rock climb down this section. That's a max elixir. Okay, nice. Now look to what I'm missing. Um, up here, I believe there was something I could have gotten. Yep. Got a rock climb up here. Nothing there. That's a nugget. Now in this place, here's an item, that's an iron, and I believe that's it, right? Let's see. Yep, okay. I was up here. I think it was just a dead end on both sides. Yeah, okay, it was. So we're all done here as well. I can pretty much just now go down to the bottom right corner, I would say. Let's see. I beat these guys. I went down to the bottom there, I beat those guys too. That loops back to the same exact side. I'm gonna go this way now. This goes back to the very beginning somewhat. Um, I'm gonna go down the middle pathway then. I guess I'll rock smash this damn thing yet again, sure. 
Um, I already went there, up to the top. I'm burning so many Metro Tolls, people. Like, so many. We gotta use strength here as well, okay. So, I already beat these guys. I didn't go up here. Which I will do. Ultra Ball. Nice. Um, that just leads back. What the heck? Okay, I guess I'll go down this way as well. Alright. Um... I beat these guys, yes I did. And then I went up here and there's nothing over there, okay. I did all that section over there as well. Um... I mean, I feel like I did everything down there as well. Wait, what is that rock smash boulder for? There's nothing there. There's nothing. So I'm just going down this way. And I'm just missing the bottom left corner, I believe. Let's use another Max Repel, of course. Yeah, so this side. Let's see, anything here? Okay, nothing there. Uh, what about over here? Wait, am I doing... Okay, I'm doing this right. See, I could have done these battles as well. Shit. I missed these. So I must, um... Get some more candies. I freaking hate doing this. Okay. Get some more candies. Give one to Jesse. Actually, give them all to Jesse. Because as you know, um, Jesse's stats are a lot lower than Nemo. So I want you to be able to one-shot somebody as well, you know? Okay. I find it funny how the person on the left does not have eyes. It's like a little glitch. Yeah, that's actually very strange and a little bit creepy. A little bit creepy. Alright, cool, so... Uh, let's see, how many Pokémon do you have? You have only three, that is amazing. Larvitar and Drapion. Ooh. Drapion is only weak to ground. But it's not smart doing that. Earthquake, you know? So I have Dialga. So what I'm gonna do is use a uh, Dragon Pulse on you. And then you can just, like... Razor Leaf. Because it's a rock. I mean, this should be able to kill you, I'm just saying. So somewhat soon, I believe Nemo should get another level up. It's been a while since um, Nemo leveled up. By a while, I mean like three battles, but remember, it's getting like 2,000 experience apiece, you know, per kill. That's quite a lot. My cargo! Ooh! So Macargo's a rock fire. Arguably one of the st stupidest, shittiest types ever in history of Pokemon. Fire Rock has a quadruple weakness to water and ground. Also weak to rock times two. Also weak to um, some other move I fucking forgot. Well, yeah, no, water and ground times two. Fighting. Um, there should be another one, because isn't it five weaknesses? But let's see, rock is weak to steel, but it's offset by fire. Weak to fighting, weak to ground. Weak to water and grass. Wait. Wait, Rock has how many weaknesses? What the sh- Rock is weak to water, grass, fighting, ground, and steel. Okay, for some reason I, I thought it was six. Yeah, fighting ground, steel, water, rock. Okay, I'm not tripping, okay. Never mind. Uh, let's see, nothing over there. Nope. 
Over here, there should be an item like here somewhere. Yep, there is actually flame plate. The flame plate. Sweet, right? Okay, and then over here. Nothing there. Oh my god. So many max repels I gotta burn. What? Shit. Okay, I need to go around. This is so annoying. Oh my god. Another. Oh, I gotta do it. I, I gotta do it, man. I know I'm at 30 minutes, but I'm trying to finish Stark Mountain right now. Okay, it's the last battle, I think. It's the last double battle. Or really, the last battle in Stark Mountain, period, you know? They have four. I'm just gonna go all out here. And, like, Earthquake, maybe. Well, no, I don't have to do it here in the situation, technically. Well, actually, I might have to. No, I'm not gonna... No, I'm just gonna wait for the next one. So you can, like, Dragon Pulse this guy. And you can, like, Razor Leaf. Yeah, so next one. Next turn, I'll probably Earthquake. Razor Leaf probably won't be enough for the kill, despite you being this many freaking levels ahead. Nope, it was not. U turn. Interesting. You're gonna switch. Bringing out Torkoal. Ooh. The thing with Torkoal, it has massive defense. And there's Carnivine as well. That thing has Levitate, doesn't it? So it doesn't make sense to Earthquake. And I have to Dragon Pulse you. You know, either way, you can't really kill anybody in one shot. Unless I were to Earthquake Torkoal, but there's no point because then there's... You know, I mean, whatever. Putting the Crunch. That didn't even do half damage, Jesus Christ, okay. Bind. Who cares, really? Here's a Primeape now. Same one. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and Dragon Pulse, I guess. Sure. No, no, no. What am I doing? Dragon Pulse you. And then you need to, like... I just don't want you to miss, but... Oh, my God. I don't you dare miss. I probably should have crunched. It's because fighting resists both dark and rock, man. I wasn't sure if Crunch would be enough to kill you. Okay, at least we didn't miss, so it's whatever. It's all irrelevant. All those thoughts that I had in my head, you know? Alright, let's grab the item first. A rare candy. That is so funny, people. That is so funny. What the... Wait, what's the point of that rock line? There's no items over there. Hidden. What the... Okay. I believe I'm done here. Like, I truly believe I'm done here. So, what I'm gonna do... Is pretty much leave this place. Yeah, because that's a rock line down, but there's no point in going there. And then this leads back to the beginning. So, I'm done. I am totally done, people. I'm just going to escape rope. Alright, so what I'm just going to do is fly back to the... whatever the hell it's called. Fight area, okay. I think he's here somewhere. But that'll be for next time, so if you enjoyed this... Actually, wait, 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 no, 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 it's not. It is not yet finished, people. I need to find Buck. Nope. Dude, I know you're here somewhere, man. Like, I know you're here somewhere, dude. Don't hide. Don't hide from me. Oh shit, I need to hurry up and, you know, find him. What are you doing here? What the hell's Barry doing? I believe he can fight you, actually. Wait, he's not even here. Did I just go to the wrong- Oh my freaking god. Oh my god. Maybe he's in the survival area. 
He must be here, people. He must be here. Like, I know you're here somewhere, man. You've got to be here somewhere. There you are. Okay, he's got to go back and put the damn thing now. Huh. May cause an eruption. Alright, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.